Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. On today's clip, I'd love to share with you uh, the adventure that we had and we got to see these amazing animals and you won't believe this this was in germany or rather is in germany so uh, the place is called serengeti park yes just like the one in tanzania and it's located in lower saxony germany as you had yeah so uh, we went there as part of our summer vacation since we were not able to travel out of the country yeah, so um, in this place they have lodges and we decided to spend one of the nights in uh, their safari lodges. So yeah, this is the reception <laughs> and um, due to Corona, of course, we had to keep social distance and yeah, so that's the reception. Time to get our keys since like I told you, we spent a night there. So, uh, time to go to our bungalow, yes, and um, they look like this, uh, quite amazing with those animal prints, yeah, so um, don't expect too much <laughs> right here, this is not like a five star hotel. We had one of these and um, we couldn't wait for the morning to come because it was quite tiny yeah <laughs> but like i told you don't expect too much it was just enough for one night yeah so we had a double bed and a single bed right there and of course a bathroom a very simple one yeah so uh, the next morning we decided to have our breakfast and um, I like how they made this place look like somewhere in Africa. <laughs> I really felt at home, yes. So um, on this day, this is the day that we decided uh, to do our safari drive or rather to have our safari drive. Yes, and I was super excited, like so excited. Yeah, so um, first of all, we just had to, we wanted to like take a walk around because our safari drive was going to be at around 2, 2 p.m. Yes, the place was full of kids. There was so many kids because it was during summer uh, vacation, summer holidays. Yes, so there is this part where you can read so much <laughs> and um, yeah, nice stuff. This is a restaurant. There are more restaurants in here. I think like three. I'm not so sure. Yes, and a souvenir shop, of course. <laughs> yeah, I like how most of the stuff here were like had some really familiar names. You know, like I think Maniara, yeah, Swahili Dorf. <laughs> Quite amazing. Yes, and um, yeah. So these are the buses. Uh, one could book either that or um, a VIP jeep which uh, we decided to book so yeah this is the VIP jeep so we booked our sap safari uh, twice um, there are different packages uh, so the first one was to go to animals which were not so dangerous Yes, and the second one is where we went to the big cats, the lions, the tigers, and um, yeah, all those ah, wild, crazy animals, yes. 
so by the way in case you are not booking the trucks to do your safari you can as well just go in there uh, drive in there with your car you know your personal car and um, but I felt like the advantage of driving the trucks from Serengeti Park was that we had our own lane so we didn't have to stand at the traffic because there is some point where people were stuck in traffic and we were just passing because we had our own lane. <laughs> So here we met an antelope which had just given birth yeah so this is how a baby antelope looks it was freshly delivered and wow I can't believe how big it is it's so big <laughs> yeah but it was really a nice capture as well yes Then it was time to feed my favorite, favorite animals. Yes, I love giraffes so much. And I was so happy because if you've been to Nairobi, to Giraffe Center, you know how hard it is, you know, to get these guys and to feed them like this. So I was so happy. Yeah, if it felt like I was at the Nairobi's giraffe mana <laughs> which uh, costs an arm you know yeah so this was really amazing and the giraffes were so friendly if that's the right word yeah it was really nice spending time with them something about uh, the Serengeti Park. In 1972, the Duke of Bedford had the idea of building the largest safari park in Europe with partners from America. In 1974, this plan was realized and since then, the Zeppa family has been running the Serengeti Park. The Serengeti covers an area of 110 hectares, uh, which is 270 acres. It has around 1,500 animals living in the open. Serengeti Park is divided into three zones, Serengeti Safari, Jungle Safari and Adventure Safari. Other guys we had the chance to feed were these cuties. 
yes and they were so hungry oh my gosh they were super hungry i don't know why because i feel like they they get fed every time you know a truck like this comes but yeah <laughs> it was just cute to watch them and yeah i kind of miss this safari i need to go back i definitely need to go back August 27, 2019, a 30-year-old rhinoceros called Kusimi attacked a zookeeper's car and flipped it over at least three times in an incident captured on video. The zookeeper suffered minor injuries. Kusimi arrived to the zoo 18 months prior to the incident as part of a breeding program and was reportedly struggling to adjust. Please don't ask me which one is Cusini? <laughs> but I hope one year later, Cusini um, has fi finally found a home and has adjusted to this beautiful place. Twenty-third of March, two thousand and six, saw the first African elephant calf to be born in North Germany for thirty years. So for our second trip we had this kind of trucks oh, <laughs> it made me feel like you know I was the animal that was being viewed by the animals <laughs> because we're like locked up but this was my favorite part I'm so happy because I got to capture this uh, through the bars can you imagine yes I got to capture this amazing a clip through the bus. It was a struggle, but I made it and I'm so proud of myself. Yes.
Serengeti Park admitted its first white tiger in 2003. In 2004, Serengeti Park received permanent recognition as a zoological garden in accordance to the current EU guidelines. Now this is why we had to be locked up <laughs> you know because these guys um, they're not shy at all you know they just jump on you <laughs> so you can imagine if uh, the truck was open like the first one yeah anyway time to see some flamingos uh, yes reminded me of uh, like Nakuru in Nairobi in Kenya oh gosh in Nairobi in Kenya yes yeah and after the safari drive uh, we decided uh, to spend the time at the amusement park which is also part of the Serengeti Park it was amazing we had so much fun and there were so many kids and the weather was amazing so yeah this is definitely a place to visit uh, with your family or alone it was definitely worth uh, worth paying a visit yes no 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 Body nice. See, I got them, heard them are moving right. See, they get them, I got me hypnotized. They might make up. So that's it guys. I really hope you loved uh, watching this clip. I hope you enjoyed uh, taking the safari drive with me and my family. So if you live in Germany or somewhere in Europe and you'd love to have a safari without having to travel so far, then this is definitely a place to visit, okay? I loved it so much and I would definitely recommend it and come back again until next time take care stay blessed and please don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't leave me a thumbs up and yeah bye bye calling all your friends when they come through